how to create product bundles in Shopify. That's exactly what I will show you in this video. So let's say you wanna create bundles that customers can then buy just that bundle in order to get multiple product. And yeah, so if you want to do that, that's exactly what I will show you in this video. So let's get right started. So first of all, uh, I'm gonna head over to my products and as you can see, I already got my products added right here. Okay, so now unfortunately, I don't think there is an option to do this directly in Shopify with the standard Shopify and you're gonna have to uh, add an app in order to create a bundle and in order to be able to sell products as bundles. Okay, so we're just gonna click on add apps right here and we're gonna have to click on Shopify app store in order to find more apps that we need for this um, tutorial. Okay, and so I'm just gonna type in bundle right here. And then as you can see, a couple of apps come up. And uh, for this video tutorial, I'm going to use Bundler. There are also some other options as you can see. Uh, I'm not sure if they work and how well they work. I'm just gonna use Bundler. Uh, if Bundler for some reason doesn't uh, work for you, you might wanna try uh, some of these other apps but I'm just going to use Bundler that uh, works for me. Okay, and then I'm just going to click on Add App. They do have a free trial, so let's just click on Add App. And then as you can see, uh, we're going to install this app. Make sure you read uh, what they get, what information they get from you, and what permissions they have. Okay, so I'm going to have to click on Install App if I'm happy with this. And as you can see, it's uh, been installed now. All right, so once we are in here, we can just click on create bundle right here in order to create a new bundle. And now there are multiple options to create bundles. You can either create a classic one or, uh, for example, a volume discount. And those are the only two options with the free account. And so in our case, we're going to create a classic bundle. Volume discount would be to um, sell products in bulk. If uh, customers want to buy in bulk, then they would be able to get a discount. But um, yeah, so we're going to click on classic bundle right here. And uh, now we're going to create the bundle. Okay, so uh, now we're going to have to uh, give the bundle a name. And that will be visible on invoices as it says right here. So make sure you give it a good name. Um, I'm just going to write in example bundle since I don't have a better name right now and uh, right here this title will be will be displayed on the product page get a discount by purchasing in bundles something like that i don't know you can come up with something better there and then the description will also be displayed on the product page i'm just gonna keep this uh, standard one for now. Okay, and then this total price summary, you can probably just leave at uh, this standard value unless you wanna go uh, into advanced um, things here. Uh, and then the call to action, I'm also just going to leave uh, this way. It's pretty well explained here what these things do. I'm also gonna leave this as the standard for now. Okay, and then this priority sequence right here, that's basically something for um, how uh, Bundler prioritizes discounts for the um, different products. And so if you're only going to create one bundle, then you don't have to worry about this. Or if you uh, create multiple bundles, but uh, you don't have duplicate products, or you don't have one product in multiple bundles, then you also don't have to worry about this. Otherwise, you can just click on here and read this text in order to see what that is for. Okay, so the bundle status should be on active and all of that. I'm going to leave it on um, the standard settings for now. Okay, then uh, we come to the discount discounts page right here and we can add the discount for this bundle. So we can either use a percentage discount, pretty self-explanatory a fixed amount discount so this amount just gets deducted from the total price or you can also choose to set the discounts on the specific product so uh, you will have to add the discounts where you add the products or you can uh, use a fixed bundle price so that would be the price for the entire bundle for all the products inside of it and you can also choose to do no discount so for my case, in order to keep it simple, I'm just going to put a uh, percentage discount, I'm gonna put 25% right here. 
Then you can also choose to do free shipping, but I believe that's only for premium. Yes, it seems like it. And bundled product level, I'm just going to keep at standard. And then the discounted products that are inside of the bundle. Now we'll be able to add the products to this bundle. So we're just going to click on select products right here. And now you can see those are the products I have. And I'm just going to add all of them into this bundle and click on add. And there we go. Now they've been added. And you can choose to automatically add uh, the new product variants if they get added. Okay, and then once you're done adding all of your products that you want to add to this bundle, you'll, um, I'm just going to leave the other stuff at standard for now. And I'm just going to click on save bundle right here. Okay, and then as it suggests right here, you should uh, perform a quick check. So let's go to the product page to see whether it all worked. And then right here, as you can see, uh, this uh, option right here has been added to the product pages of my products right here. So you can see, you can click on, um, well, it's out of stock right now. Let me put it in stock real quick. So I just put some inventory in stock right here on one of my products. So now when I'm back over on my product pages, as you can see, now I can click on add to cart right here and buy all of these free products together in order to get this discount. And so that's how it will look like on your store. Okay, so once you're done adding all of your bundles, what I would recommend you do is head over to your general settings inside of Bundler right here. And then go through these and uh, especially you might want to change the colors to your brand colors so it fits into your um, overall store um, branding. And then another check, uh, another uh, setting you might want to check is uh, right here, redirect users after they add products to the cart. You might not want to redirect them to the checkout. You could also redirect them to cart or you can select don't redirect so uh, they can stay on the product page and uh, continue shopping. Then another setting you might want to check is are the discount pop-up settings right here. You can also disable the discount pop-up that will uh, show up once they've added it to their card. And you know, you can tell them how much they saved off their order. And you can also uh, change the colors of that pop-up. You might also want to change that to your brand colors probably. So yeah, make sure to also check these settings and change them to your liking. All right, so once you're done uh, with these settings, these uh, additional settings, you can just click on save in order to save it. And yeah, so that's how you add bundles to your Shopify store. And I'm gonna once again head over to my store in order to uh, show you once again what it'll look like.